Hello, everybody, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Check it out. We have a Freightliner Columbia, finally. A link for this will be in the description below. You can check that out if you would like, but check it out. Uh, not too many modifications when it comes to the truck. I'll show you real fast what you can do. We go into the upgrade shop. We've got uh, these options here of some custom bumpers and whatnot, even one with a, a bar on the front of it. That's actually kind of cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks... It looks mean. Uh, I'm going to keep it very stock looking though. Um, and then you have some options with, uh, you know, your oversized load stuff. You've got um, different uh, headlights. Those look really cool, actually. They kind of remind me of a Kenworth, those those headlights do. Uh, we're going to stay tried and true to the Columbia today, though. Uh, some options here. That Columbia looks kind of bad. I wouldn't do that. Uh, you have these different uh, mirrors here you can do. Things like that. Um, you can put these uh, lights down the side of it. You can change out the tanks if you'd like, as you can see there. We're going to keep the nice long one. Um, here in the configuration here, you have different uh, ones. We're going to stay with the, the traditional looking one, but you got a Columbia Low, which is a nice little flat top here. You've got a, a, lump, a Columbia Low here that's got one a little further back, a mid-roof, uh, a Columbia mid-roof here as well. And then back to the raised roof. We're going to do the raised roof on this. I'm staying very true to the truck. Um, only one option for the chassis. We have uh, the Cummins ISX-15, 550 horsepower engine. Uh, transmission, I'm doing Eaton Ultra Shift uh, VXP 18 speed. Now, I've driven this and the overall ratio is 19.73. I don't know anything about this, to be honest with you. Um, I'm thinking I might change it up and go with like a 16. Because this seems pretty low. It seems very bogged down, the truck does. So we're going to try this one. Uh, an 18-speed R, 4.33. There's just too many numbers here. I don't know that much about that. Uh, Interior-wise, uh, we don't we don't need this guy. Actually, we don't need this dash cam because um, this comes with a... Uh, actually, can we get rid of that? That is the question. I don't think you can get rid of this. It comes with the truck. And you can see it's plugged in right there in the cigarette lighter. Um, but this thing I'm going to get rid of because... Uh, it's redundant. That dash cam has a uh, GPS on the back of it. And we don't really need that. Let's put some, uh, get a classic black up there. That'd be cool. That'll work for me. Um, anything else I can't really think of? It's a pretty basic looking interior. It's a lot like the uh, Freightliner Sentry, actually. Um, so that's good. Uh, you saw all this. Uh, the top part, you have uh, radiance if you want them. If you want to get those uh, those lights, you can. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it. I don't think I've uh, missed anything else out. There's nothing different you can do in the interior. That's all the same. And I think we're all done here. We can confirm that order, change out that transmission, and get out here and check it out. So we're going to be picking up a Walmart trailer at the Walmart, and we're taking that further down. We're in Rancho Cordova right now. I believe that's what we're at. Rancho Cordova, yes. And we're just going down the street to the Walmart. Right over there on the left, it looks like. I can see the trailer from here. How about that? It's fired up. Has a pretty decent sound to it. Uh, the horn is not great. I mean, it's just, that's not great. Uh, it's got this weird kind of thing. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change my position of my guy here. Haven't done that. Uh, bring the seat up. And then we, so we can see the hood a little bit and then look down. I like to be able to do that. That's it. That just seems better in this truck. Um, that looks good to me. Fantastic. Seventy-seven. You can bring our uh, FOB back a little bit if we'd like. Eh, it starts getting weird when you do that. I'm gonna give it a seventy-five. This isn't too bad with track IR. Yes, that looks that looks pretty good. Good and proper. All right, let's get rolling out of here. Parking brakes engaged, you dummy. Look at the parking brake uh, lever on this. Isn't that weird? It's different. You just, if, you, if you missed it, look there in the center. There's it down and then out. So you have the button on the right or you can just pull the lever down. I don't know if it's like that in the real truck, but that's pretty cool that you can do that. Okay, let's head over and pick up our trailer at the Walmart. And uh, you can't do advanced trailer coupling in this truck. It won't work. So I have that turned off. And I'm thinking of anything else I can cover. And I think that I have already covered all the bases of the truck. Oh, there's a cop car coming. Shit, sorry. Didn't see you there, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> I 
All right. So now you're starting to see what I'm talking about. You see how it has like this like road reflection in the gauges there. And even on the windows, it does that, which is strange. We're making it right up here. That's where we're going. Um, it, that's the only thing that's weird. And I do get a frame rate drop inside the truck. So keep that in mind. If you have difficulties running this game, this may not be for you, to be perfectly honest with you. Pull in here. And in one of those Walmart trailers is ours today. Let's see which one it is. Uh, we might be even able to change out, which it looks like we can. The trailers, because I put some new trailers in here and I would really like to have something cool. Um, I have a new flatbed and I have a new tanker, but we'll see what there is for options here. I don't think we're going to have too many options. It doesn't look like. Nope. Prince double there. That's kind of cool. Um, I'm good with the double. So let's do, let's do the best buy trailer. That's kind of cool. Something different. Haven't driven a Best Buy trailer yet. Let's do that. We're always doing like Walmart trailers. Uh, and we'll take that. We're going to Fresno, California. Been nice to drive over here in Fresno or Fresno in, uh, in California again. Haven't been doing too much of that lately. Here we are right here. Put our still have that issue with this wheel. All right. Where the lights like to come on magically all the time. They're magically delicious. Okay, good there. Yep, that looks nice. And we'll back it right up on there. I wish the trailer coupling worked, but it doesn't. So let's get it close enough and hit hit the T key. You know the you know the drill. That'll work right there. Hit the T. Pull that parking brake out, and we'll check and make sure it looks good, which it looks like it is. Yeah, that's pretty decent looking. Not bad. And uh, let's go ahead and do a tug test on this thing. So we'll release the parking brake, put it in low, low, hold the trailer brake down and give us some power. We're good. Let's rock and roll. Let's pull the, those off. First gear is good. And we pull out just like that. Well, I don't know if we're gonna have enough room to get out of here, but we're making a left, so we can actually kind of catty corner it around and it'll be fine. Ooh, come on, baby, turn. You're good. We got it. We got it. We're gonna left out of here. Keep an eye on that right. It looks like it's clear for now. Yep, we're good. Pull that trailer on out behind us. Without hitting a fence or anything stupid. Your speed is nothing. That is correct. There we go. Oh man, it's so strange. I'm back on my uh, TSPC racer wheel. Uh, I've been driving in Bus Simulator 18 and I've been using my G27 with that. And it's so different. So, so, so different. Like the TS TSPC racer really does kick ass. It's an amazing wheel. It is fantastico. All right, around the corner we go. And find our way to the highway. The highway should be right down the road here. Pedestrian crossing. Although there's no pedestrians there. It's the airport over that way, it looks like it says. Oh, hello. That's cool. I was looking over there. Could I see if I can see it? And I can't. Speed of airports. I am in Las Vegas right now. Not recording this. This is pre recorded, but I'm in Las Vegas for Flight Sim Expo. So hopefully I'm having a good time there. Um, I did want to say that there is a new uh, Ford F 150 Raptor that came out for America Truck Sim. So when I get back, I will do a video of that and we'll recap the Flight Sim Expo and the travels and all that fun stuff. Um, while we drive that. There's the, one of the new trailers. Why can't I use it? The Flying J tanker. That's what I wanted. Okay. It looks like this might be closed off here. That's oh, a rest area. An interesting rest area, but a rest area nonetheless. Yeah, it's the Mather Airport. That is cool. The things I do like about the MHA Pro 
map are those things? I don't see the airport. You can't see it very well. Um, are the little new towns you get, you know, the details. The things I don't like are, you know, some of the, the personal messages they throw in there. But we've already gone over that, so need, no need to uh, say that again and again and again. We'll put this in eight high and much better. Yeah, the transmission I had in it before, oh, I should have got over for that guy. Um, yeah, the transmission I had in it before, this thing would be in eight high and it would be at like a thousand or 1100 RPM, which is just way too low. It just sounds like it's bogged down the entire time you're driving it. But it does get good gas mileage from what I've driven of it so far. I did some proving uh, driving with it just to see how it is. Oh, the Jake brake. There's the sound of the Jake brake. Not too terrible, but uh, it, it's it's soft. But I think that's very realistic with one of these kind of trucks. They don't have like a crazy one. I really, really came up that way too hot. <laughs> No one saw that, right? Yeah. No one saw it. Going to four high. Oh, we're going to be fine. Going to fifth gear. All right. This engine isn't too terrible. But I'll tell you what, those, uh, those sky, those cloud textures are not great. Sky boxes are not good at all in this uh, Piva weather mod. I, I really miss my realistic graphics mod. I wish it worked for the newest version of American Truck Sim. It just doesn't. I mean, it works during the day and stuff, but when you get into the evening time or actually in the middle of the day, uh, whether you have the new time zone thing turned off or not, it doesn't matter. It still does this weird, like the clouds are like circled and the moon's in them. It looks very strange, so <laughs> it doesn't work. But this is the only other alternative we have currently on this new version of ATS, which really is sad. All right, eight low. And there's eight high. And we're on the two lane highway. Lockheed Martin, check that out, that's cool. Use our Jake brake here, you get to hear it. We don't want to go too fast here. Remember in California, you can't go over 55. Heaven forbid. They will take you down, Chinatown. I had to take another loan out in the game for $100,000 so I could buy this truck. I was an idiot on the last uh, episode when we were doing the Tesla, dropping off the oversized load. I forgot that road work. It's like a big road work facility. I don't know. Um. But anywho, like new customers, you'll love Whistle, Whistler, Whistle, yeah. Uh, but I forgot that you can uh, skip your drop-offs. Although I think I tried that and it didn't work, so I rage quitted it. But nonetheless, I forgot that you can do that. So with the oversized loads, if you get there, you know, and they're just being really, really, really crappy to you about your parking job, like not being perfect, you can always skip it. But I think I have to turn that other thing off in the options for that to happen. I'm gonna let this thing coast down this hill. Seems to be doing a pretty good job and we don't have a retarder on it, so it's gonna maintain this speed. Eh, not bad, so I have to give it power going down the hill to maintain a speed limit. Can we even give it up to 55 around here? I don't know. I think it's possible. It's certainly possible. There we go. Now we're just coasting. All right, that truck, that car's making a right. Oh, there's a motorcycle with a cop next to it. We're not speeding off, sir. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I like that uh, wonder bomb, the tree up there moving around with the physics. Oh, reduce speed ahead. Slow it down. The 30 mile an hour zone. My lord, that is slow. There we go. 30 will work. We're in Oakdale right now. 
I think we're getting close to the 5 or the 99, and we take that down to Fresno. If memory serves correct. See, now the skybox doesn't look terrible when it's like this, but when you get real close to them, like when the skybox just opens up, it looks very low quality. So maybe they just need to up upgrade their skybox textures. I don't know. Okay, it's 55 through here. I was kind of like, uh, is it 55 yet? Apparently it is. But I know some people said in the last video they didn't care for the uh, sky textures, and, and I agree. But we don't have any options right now. So you got what you got, as they say. Well, they only say that in... Honestly, I think I've ever I've only only heard it from Daryl Waltrip in, in NASCAR broadcasts. You got what you got. It's like, all right. Well, I mean, I've heard it before, but you know, made famous by. Take a left here. What else there? Get on the highway. This thing uh, cruises pretty good on the highway. Now you have to negotiate traffic. That well, looks like we're okay there. Today. Could be worse. Got a truck stop ahead on the right. Yeah, see that uh, the reflection doesn't look too bad right now. It's not as snowy as it was. But yeah, there's definitely a frame hit in this uh, cockpit. You can just tell. Maybe it's just not well optimized or that maybe the truck model has too many polys or something. I don't know what the issue is, but it does do that. Speaking of that, time for a screenshot. I'll be right back. Well, we're gonna let this truck go by us because they always like to screw up our screenshots, These this traffic does. And we are back. Let that cop over. I'm gonna go ahead and set my cruise control here and we can relax we're on the 99 takes us all the way down to Fresno where are we dropping off at Fresno that's the question here at the Ikea in Fresno okay trailers only 40,000 pounds does your employer have workers comp it's the law <laughs> some of the billboards interesting to say the least But this engine seems to be doing pretty good. It's not very, it's not overly loud. So this truck would be good on a uh, long haul. That's for sure. Or this engine would in gear ratio setting. But honestly, the one I had before that I showed you, that one was even quieter than this. If you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. Get it? Do you get it though? I don't. I don't get it. That is an ugly color on that Lincoln. On that Lincoln. Safe drive, stay alive. That's what we're trying to do. Now, I did hear somebody told me that the Jazzy Cat mods don't cause stuttering and issues anymore. So I think we might test that and see. Because I do miss having a lot of those Jazzy Cat mods. It just makes the sim come to life a lot more with different vehicles, different trucks, and the trailers on the trucks, things like that. Keep your distance. Oh, we're getting off here already. No problem. Well, I knew it was gonna be a shorter run. It wasn't terribly long. Make sure we don't come down this one hot like we did last time. That was not good. Look at that. I mean, we're in sixth gear, sixth low, and it climbed that hill no problem. Now we're in fifth. I think a lot of it has to do with me getting used to these brakes again, because this these brakes are stiff, man. The uh, load cell. Takes a while to get used to, and I'm just rusty on those. Okay, turn that blinker off. In bus simulator, you get in trouble for having leaving that Berlin crown, but American Truck Sim lets you do it all day long. A 
let you listen to that engine. And it's 55 through here, it is on the outer road. Going to the IKEA. You start to hear that turbo start to wind up finally. bad at all. It handles itself very well. Some weird texture issues happening with this truck though, man. I mean, you, you can see them. It's just some weird texture glitches. And it's almost like the uh, interior um, windows are very bright too. I noticed that when taking the screenshot, I saw this like weird texture inside the cab and then, ooh, somebody got pulled over. Oh, somebody's arrested. Busted, bro. Busted. Let's go to the outside of you and check out the truck a little bit here before we get where we're going. Looks very nice. The secondary lights on like that. That's cool. You see what I mean? Like those windows are like weird. They're very bright from the outside view you can see. And then there's that. I think it's the texture of that bunk behind us that's possibly causing that reflection. In the outside view, it's totally different looking than this. I don't know. I really don't. Nice row of trees there. This is cool. Traveling on the outside. Uh, this is uh, what we did with the uh, the Pagani. Waira. We, we went down this road. Or maybe we didn't. Maybe we ended near here and I came down this road for the screenshots. I think is what it was. Quite possibly. Start slowing down. We already know this is a small town coming up. We're going to have to slow down anyway. You know the drill. Okay, so this will be a pretty normal length of an episode. I, I was thinking it might be too short, but... Or too short of a run. But we have a little bit more to drive. It still says it's 55 through here. I can't even imagine doing 55 through this spot, but... And then 65. What? I mean, okay. There's a Walmart there. Oh, that truck just came out of... He didn't, but... I believe he came off the highway. Fresh salads. Or fresh salad. McDonald's. Yeah, that's what... Because when you think about salads, that's where you want to go. McDonald's. Martin's Pub. Little town of Fresno here. Now it's 30 through here. And it's on the other side of Fresno, it looks like. Some police. 2016. Ford Police Interceptor Utility there. Oh, that's an interesting looking building there on the right. I believe it's a parking garage they're building. Do not miss your target. That's target right there. You just saw it. There's FedEx. Another drive safe. Stay alive. An air show. What? at air show parking in the rear okay <laughs> whatever you say uh, this is a beautiful drive down this uh, little city street here direct hire I need to hire some people all right recruitment agency we need to actually do that and hire some people because I'm tired of not having any money in this game and it's just because I haven't played the game to those management potentials that has. Yeah, the brakes are pretty much non-existent. It's not the truck's fault. It's probably the braking sensitivity. And uh, I had to change it on the Tesla. So that might have done it. Yeah, I see how it's just a weird texture or something. But it looks fine inside here. But outside view, you can see it right back there. It's a very low quality texture. That's what it is. Look at that in the uh, outside view. Well, you live, you learn. Oh yeah, we're 
I gotta right here, or left here, I mean. Fifty-five. And we get off of this exit. That'll work too. We need to go too fast here. Motor on, Jim. Okay. Now we have some gentlemen's club <laughs> billboards. Oh man. Some of the things in this this MHA, man. Some interesting things in it, let me tell you. You get tired of seeing the same old stuff. MHA's for you. It's a rock and roll. This hill. Let's go uh headlights on. There we go. You see, it kind of gives it that little green tinge to the lights. It's like a true Freightliner. That's cool. Come on, stay green. Silverado, stay at bay, brother. So our drop off is up here on the left. It looks like Yeah, you see how things are like blown out the colors are and stuff like that. It's definitely these uh, The materials made in this uh, 3d model. There's the Ikea can't miss it. Holy crap. It's massive This is where we're dropping That's by dropping at the Ikea gotta love it And we didn't need any gas. I mean, like, sorry, fuel, diesel, whatever. Heaven forbid you call it gas. Uh, but we don't, we didn't need anything. This wasn't bad. Uh, we don't pull in here. That's the main entrance. We go in the rear end here. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to make it in there because they don't want trucks in there. That's what that is about. I can guarantee it. All righty. Where do you want it? Oh, this looks kind of interesting. These docks. Totally interesting. Yep. Where do you want it? Where do you need it? Okay. At a angle. Well, this is a new one for me. I wonder if we can get back in there and turn around and blind it. I think we're going to have to do that. Although I don't know what to expect because there could be... A trailer there and there is of course there's a trailer there all right we're gonna have to turn this baby around and blind it in it's the only way i can think to do it here and jackknife it just go a little bit there all the way to the right yep that's where we're going watching Watching our angle here. Don't want to jackknife. It's going to be close. Keep turning. I think it jackknifed, didn't it? <laughs> I think it just jackknifed a little bit. No? Maybe not? I'm just going real slow. Okay. This thing is just... I don't think it jackknifed. I think... I think we're no it's okay maybe not let's get out and look I think we just jackknifed it yeah it's pretty close no it's close I think we're barely touching this stupid thing right there oh that's what it is okay I mean we're close to jackknifing but we're not okay fire back up son of a bitch it's got to back it up off this little thing Parking brake. Get out of here. It's enough to clear it. Doesn't have to be much. Come on, you bastard. Make it all this away, and then you got some interesting drops. All right. Let's see if this will work. All right, can we see back there yet? Do we know where we're going? 
Looks like it's going right back there. All righty. Don't want to hit that guy's truck. We're going to be so sideways on this, I have a feeling. Want to make sure that it doesn't hit that trailer over there. It's getting close to it. Nope, we'll see. It's okay for now. Keep driving away from it a little bit further. And then back and forth. So we can see. It's going to be cl too close, but that's all right. If we can just get it even close there, we'll be, we'll be okay. Honestly. We haven't hit that trailer yet. We're getting close to hitting it. <laughs> all right. We're going to have to pull out here. Maybe not. Maybe not. We might be okay here. Just duck it in like that and then hard left. Uh, a little bit off. Oh, we don't want to hit that guy. All right. Let's just pull out of this and make it better. We're, we're very close now. Here we go. Should be in better shape this time around. Ah, this this angling is weird. Not used to it at all. Okay, I see it now. A bit more this way, and then straight. This is looking good right here. Yep, they're happy with it. Sweet. We'll stop right there. Pull that and check it out. Uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I'll take it. Decouple. And sugar delivered from Rancho Cordova to Fresno. Complete. How about that? Oh, we made it to level 24. Very cool. Well, guys, that is going to do it for this one. Uh, hazardous cargo, high value, fragile, uh, fragile, please. Thank you. That's going to do it for this one. I will see you guys next time. Take care.